Hello artists! Today we're going to be reviewing these guys and what kind of stock they have for your art to be printed on. They drop ship too, so stay tuned. Check it out. I'm just doing this video to help out other artists who may be looking for different companies to print their artwork on. So check it out. Thanks guys. You're going to be seeing this in real time. So I'm opening this and seeing all this with you together. Check it out. Let me know what you think below in the comments. And if you guys have any questions or hints or tips or you want to see something else, let me know. I'll order it and we'll review it. Thanks guys. All right, here we go. Comes in a nice little package, very reinforced. Makes me feel good about how they package anything that they would drop ship. And very professional. Nice and secure. Plastic coatings over their samples. Love it. Let's see what's inside. It's a cute little doggy. Okay. This is the luster. Looks like it's a photography print. It's very nice. Has some texture to it. Luster 260 GSM. See the detail. And it's somewhat glossy. It's lustery. It looks pretty nice. That'd be great for photographs. Ooh, here's a canvas one. Can you see it in the light? Ooh, I like that. L-Y-V-E canvas. Live canvas? I think that's what it says. Timeless satin varnish. That's nice. It looks just like a professional printed canvas. Very nice. Ooh, the moves. Obviously, it's canvas. Oh, I love how they have so many animals and all the birds. The photographer is Chris Wofford. Wofford. Sorry if I butchered your name. Chris Wolford. This one is it's a photo rag. I can't even say that word. What is that word? Hanamuli. This one. This one has some texture to it. And it's not glossy, which is nice if you don't like glossy stuff. You can actually see the photograph and not have to worry about the glare. It does have some texture. How would I describe this? Mm hmm. Interesting. It's not like linen. It's nice. Cardstock's nice. Can you hear it? Oh, wait. There we go. All right. Next, we have Moab Entrada Rag Natural. So. These are pretty similar, but this one has a harder cardstock. It feels thicker to me. This one feels a little bit more, like has more play. So, yep, it's a little bit louder. I, I like this one for how natural it feels. It just feels like a raw printed cardstock, and I don't see any gross lines. The print quality is excellent. This is Epson Cold Press Bright. I think this would be really good for painting. So all the these guys, all the these guys, are pretty good for photography, in my opinion. This one's probably good for the Moab Entrada. I love saying that. It's probably good for artwork, but I like it on photography. This Epson Cold Press Bright is textured watercolor, so it feels like Kind of like a watercolor painting, but it's a print and it looks really, really nice. This is Moab Entrada Bright White. You know, unfortunately, I hate to say this, guys, I do see some print lines right here. Looks like inkjet lines. So I'm not, not impressed with this one, with the print quality. Maybe it's just a fluke. The paper quality is really nice. Non-gloss, bright white. This is, looks like correction, studio watercolor. Ooh, look at that. Can you guys see the texture in that? It looks like watercolor paper. 
This one has very nice print on it. I cannot see any of those inkjet lines on this guy. Studio watercolor. This is Somerset Velvet. Ooh, I understand why they call it velvet. It feels like it has super microscopic peach fuzz on it. A little, little grainy. Not the picture quality, the paper itself. Yeah, nice little velvet touch to it. Let's see if we can see some of the quality of the paper. Somerset velvet. Oh, and a burrowing owl, how cute. Archival mat. Can you hear that? Super smooth, non-glossy at all. So I normally paint in watercolors and acrylics. So if I were to get my watercolors painted or printed, I would probably choose Epson Cold Press Bright for my watercolors because I love how it's textured and it seems like it's meant for watercolor. So I would go watercolor, the winner, Epson Cold Press Bright, and then for acrylics, not the hard one. Uh, <laughs> not the glossy one. I'm not super fan of that for artwork. The canvas one's really cool. I would, ooh, did you guys see the back of that? It's like actual canvas. Well, duh, but it has little speckles in it. So I'd probably do this one for acrylics and even watercolors too. So the light canvas, I'm just a huge fan. It's a little bit more expensive though, obviously, with having to stretch it and frame it. So this one's for both. I think I'm kind of going towards the Moab Entrada Rag Natural for acrylics because it has that heavy stock and I like heavy cardstock. I don't like that flimsy stuff that's blah, 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 when you hang on to it. I like this. So here we go. Out of all the ones that we have, Let's get them all organized here. What we have here are all of the examples and the winner for watercolor is this guy. Watercolor winner right here. Epsom Cold Press Bright Textured Watercolor. The winner for acrylics would be this one. This little crane right there. This is Moab Entrada Rag Natural. And the winner for both, the canvas. I really dig the canvas. I think this looks really awesome. This is Live Canvas, L-Y-B-E. Some cool little cotton colors on the back. So there we have it. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helps any artist or anyone who's looking to get a nice photograph or their artwork printed. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts, questions, or comments. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Thanks guys. Happy painting.